and welcome to this week's Marketing Mentor. I'm your host, Hannah Statham, the founder and director of Media Mortar. In today's episode, I want to talk to you about a fun topic, emojis. Love them or hate them, I want to talk to you about why you probably need them. Because we've got a couple of brands we work with who absolutely hate emojis, and I totally understand they're not necessarily for everyone, but there are a few strategic reasons why you might want to consider using them. So I wanted to put them forward because I'm not always just proponing a proponent for putting in fun little cartoons into anything that you do they actually have a lot of purpose and they are proven to increase your engagement rate so if you heard a few episodes back when I was talking to you about why you needed to consider email marketing I want to share this overwhelming statistic about using emojis in your subject line. So emails using emojis have a 29% higher open rate than emails that don't. And a lot of that reason is, is that most people open their emails on their phone, which is where you can see those emojis. So I thought that was pretty cool and we've been testing it on our Media Mortar clients and certainly we're seeing a much higher engagement rate on those emails where the subject line includes an emoji. But it's not just email marketing. We also see a similar thing when it comes to Instagram too. So posts that include emojis have a 48% higher engagement rate than those that don't. So there you have it. Perhaps it's time to consider using those emojis in Instagram too. Now our friends on Facebook who like Facebook too, the same thing happens. There's a 57% higher engagement rate for those posts that use emojis than those that don't. So whether you love them or hate them, I just wanted to present the opposite side that perhaps it's probably time that you start to think about using them because the stats don't lie when it comes to engagement rates and they are such a great engagement rate driver, particularly if you use them in the call to action, which we do a lot of, you know, put your hand up, little hand up emoji if you agree or leave a comment down below and you use the thumbs down, a little point down emoji. So there's lots of ways you can use them. Answer what you're doing this weekend in say it only in emojis and people respond with the beach. So there's lots of ways you can do it to help drive that engagement further. So there you have it. There's three compelling stats and engaging reasons why you should perhaps consider using emojis in your marketing. Until next week, guys, keep making marketing magic happen. And if you have any questions, drop me a line. I'd love to answer them in next week's episode. See you.